Aloha and welcome to another Monday Mix Plate. If this is your first time here, my name's Marie. I love green, clean beauty and lots of other things I sprinkle into these videos. Um, if this is your first time here, in 2022, I have been taking a green beauty brand per month, using a bunch of their products and then reporting back. So in January, I did Laurel Whole Plant Organics. In February, I've been doing Earthwise Beauty because it happened to coincide with Beauty Heroes, a beauty subscription service, um, they their box featured Earthwise Beauty, and so it was a perfect time for me to be using Earthwise's products. Um, my current collection is just luxurious, I'm not going to lie, and so uh, I wanted to talk about that today, tell you a little bit more about Earthwise Beauty. I've already talked about them extensively in a lot of other videos. So um, some of the products I won't go into like a deep review of simply because um, I've already talked about them a lot, but this is kind of an overview of the things that I have right now. And I just love making videos talking about them because it's so easy for me to champion them as a brand. I'm not an affiliate with them. They have sent me some stuff like just as sort of thank yous for being who I am. Um, Sometimes that my review, like my talking about them has resonated with them. Um, and so, but none of it has ever been under like a PR or an affiliate sort of relationship. So I just like to be super honest about that. Um, I've bought their products myself and I wouldn't hesitate to do so again. So anyway, okay, let's jump in to Earthwise Beauty, the brand. Now, if you're not familiar, it's helmed by a woman named Ava Zahn out of Spokane, Washington. Um, I've talked about this briefly in another video about sort of their origins, but what I'd really like to talk about today and send you to is Mercedes from La Amour at La Musique has a podcast episode where she interviews Ava Zahn, and it is just a delicious treat to hear about. She um, talks about the origins of the brand, her approach to sourcing, just who she is in her herbalist journey, and um, it's, it's just wonderful. It will make you want to try more Earthwise Beauty products. The other thing that I want to say is Earthwise Beauty does samples. Their products are extremely potent, and I've heard some people say that like the products do cause them to have a reaction. Now that's not uncommon. Skin Skin is what it is, and it likes what it doesn't like. I mean, and it likes what it likes. So there will be times products give you a reaction, which is why I always love when brands do samples. It's just truly awesome because it gives people the opportunity to try things without purchasing a full size. One of the other things that I wanted to say is that, that I want to acknowledge from the beginning is that Earthwise Beauty is a little pricey. Um, it The products are, um, truly artisanal. The sourcing is truly artisanal. Um, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about that because some people might feel like these products are just out of their budget range. Um, one of the things that I will say about the products is that you will find yourself using it to the last drop. So as opposed to things that you maybe get in a subscription box that you only partially like, um, this is not that situation, which is again why trying a sample of the products prior to buying a full size is so awesome that they give you that option. Second of all, with the high potency of the products, I really find that you need less products in your routine. So if you're approaching beauty from a minimalist standpoint and a product costs $100 and you're using three drops but it lasts you three months, well then it's similar to buying a Pacifica serum. Now, does that mean it's a pro, a, like accessible for everyone? No. Um, but I will say that if, if you find yourself trying something, if you find yourself truly resonating with the brand, I, I just think that you can strip a lot away and use some of these products really mindfully and in some ways it ends up being the same as buying a lot of products you don't maybe like um, or don't maybe perform as well. It's kind of like buying a pair of Birkenstocks. You know what I mean? Like over buying a pair of $3 rubber slippers. Like, yes, the $3 rubber slippers are gonna get you by and they're gonna work great, but sometimes you wanna invest like in something that you know is gonna last for five years. 
Um, and so that's kind of like sometimes it, it is worth spending the money. Okay, and so one of the last things I wanted to say before we move into talking about the products is just how I came to appreciate Earthwise Beauty because I had heard about them a lot in the space and they just seemed over pricey, over serious to me when I first started. But it wasn't until I started really making my own products that I started to really realize what um, an important aspect of product creation sourcing is. Because you can buy jugs and jugs and gallons and gallons and vats of oils, um, but it ne doesn't necessarily mean they're truly potent and alive. Um, and it started making me really appreciate this this eye and sense and intuition that Ava had for these truly vibrational products and ingredients and combining them and just her mindset and her impeccable attention to detail. And that's really when I started diving back in. Um, and one of the first products that I started really appreciating was this idea of her marshmallow face cleanser because I started making soap and I started, I love to go through and read ingredients labels on brands websites. Like I just do that for fun. You know, I'm like, oh, I've got this. Let me just look at the ingredients list. And it just struck me as so beautiful and interesting that this was a Castile soap based product because I knew from reading about Ava that she had had previous experience in making soap. So I was like, Hmm, so fascinating. And then she also has a product called the Magical Babasu. And that was another ingredient that I found very fascinating because of my experience making soap. It's such a luscious sort of oily butter. Um, and I just was fascinated when, when I didn't see other people doing these kinds of things. Her products were innovative, interesting, um, complex where other brands were sort of just all mimicking each other. Okay, so what I want to do right now is Earthwise Beauty this month did send me a couple things like as a thank you just for being like a champion of their brand. Like I said, not an affiliate, not PR, but I have been using them and loving them. And so I just wanted to mention the things that are new to my collection. Um, and so that way, if you watch my channel regularly and you've already heard me talk about a lot of these other products, then you won't necessarily, you know, need to sit through that again. You're like, we already know how you feel about the marshmallow face cleanser, Marie. You've talked about it for over a year. Um, I'll put those at the back. So if you're new to my channel and, and this brand, then you can kind of pick that stuff up at the back. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was the Yasuni face balm, Featherlight face balm. So I'm fascinated by the texture. Like I said, when I talked about the Earthwise Beauty video about the new Isadora face balm that she has and her Green Leaves face balm, you have such a difference in textures. Um, it's just so beautiful and fun to experience. So the Green Leaves I talked about before is, in Hawaii, is um, liquid at room temperature. It's mostly coconut oil, um, and it just has a really gorgeous, lightweight, very potent clarifying feel to it. Now the Isadora feels very dense and um, conditioning. Look how much I've already gone through of it. This is just in a month. Like I love this product. Is that not clear? It is super dense and I don't use it every day, but there's sometimes there's just like when I've had a really busy day and I'm super dehydrated, there is nothing like p filling a huge glass of lemon water, um, putting on the Isadora, face balm and feeling like you're just totally treating yourself inside and out to like rehydrating and replenishing. So the Isadora has a heavy amount of shea butter. Um, it's dense. You have to warm it in your hand. You have to warm it before you apply it to skin. It's totally conditioning and dense and luscious. Now this Yasuni that's new, okay, it has some very gorgeous lightweight light melting point butters and it has this like to die for smell. Now Earthwise Beauty, their products tend to smell very fresh and herbally and alive. Now some people might be turned off by that, but I happen, to, as someone who loves plants and loves things that aren't necessarily like pretty smelling, I happen to love the way her products smell. So this has this gorgeous, now look at it on my finger, it is um, 
solid here right now, even though it's very hot. But the second it touches the skin, the butters just melt. It has this gorgeous sort of nutty, herbally, fresh smell. It's divine. So it has um, kupasu, which kupasu is another butter that I love, and soap. It makes it one of my favorites. Kokum seed butter, bakuri seed butter. Um, I think this is takuma seed butter. Acai whole fruit oil, cranberry seed oil, raspberry seed oil, marula. It has coffee. Oh, that's what's making, that's what's contributing to the gorgeous smell. Buriti, you know I love my buriti. And it also has elderberry fruit extract. So it's just, I can see it really finding its way into my routine um, more frequently just because I love those ingredients. Um, it said that it's the lightest face balm filled with enzyme rich non commodiogenic fruit oils that exfoliate the skin and diminish tendency towards blackheads. It doesn't contain essential oils making it suitable for sensitive skin. See, even though I think it might be geared more towards people with acne, I can see it being good for people like me who do tend to get blackheads and clogged pores here. Um, so I can see it definitely being, it, uh, there being a place for it in a lot of routines. So those are the bombs. I'm really excited about it. It doesn't have like a easily recognizable coffee smell to it. So that is surprising to me. Um, okay, so the next product that is new to me is her Rosa Whole Fruit Rosehip Oil. Now, if you've been in skincare, you know that rosehip oil is like by far one of the most popular oils. And I can tell you, from buying rosehip oil from different suppliers that not all rosehip oils look, feel, smell the same. And so I remember when Ava was really excited and kind of doing like teasers about her sourcing for this um, oil on Instagram. And it's just, you would think, you would almost think that it is um, sea buckthorn because of how potent and red it is. Look at that. It is just gorgeous. So rosehip oil tends to be really great for any skin type. Um, look at that color. Is that just not insane? And it holds the color when you rub it in. Just, just vibrant and gorgeous. And um, you know, Rosehip oil actually is interesting because it's one of the only skincare oil that actually penetrates and actually really impacts in a positive way the lipid barrier. So there's a lot of oils that are not, that don't get broken down and used and incorporated in the lipid bilayer of the skin, but rosehip oil is actually one that they've studied, and I'll try to find the link and link it below, that actually does benefit the lipid barrier. So um, it's, this is just gorgeous and I can just see myself adding a drop or two of this to a moisturizer and it just being so potent and luscious. Um, next up, the new one is the Three Roses Deep Sweet Rose Mist. See, this is, and this is like again why I love her, okay? So a lot of people use rose water and it tends to have this almost like fermented smell to me. But this one, has the freshest, lightest, just most delicate smell. And it's so simple. It's rose water, it's um, Turkish rose water, um, Iran rose water, aloe juice, colloidal silver, ferulic acid, rosferis straw, brandy, and wood roses flower essence. So I don't believe a flower essence is the same as an essential oil, which probably wouldn't mix in well to a mist. So it just feels really lovely. And like where, this is one of those mists that you feel like helps ingredients penetrate. Like the Maya Chia Optimist tends to be its own layer. This is one of those ones that I feel like I spray on top of oils um, and then I layer something else on top because it really just feels like it helps products sink in and absorb. Okay. Then I have the Thelma Lip Treatment, which feels luscious. And again, see, this is why I love her products because they're, 
I'm always just like, oh, you, Ava, you genius. Because she has Hymenia seed oil in here, which I absolutely love. It's this buttery, honey-like oil out of um, Africa. It's so gorgeous and luscious for the skin. Brazil nut seed oil, Kupasu, mango seed butter, Mafura, which I love. Very um, potent skin treatment oil, Mafura butter is. Um, Bakuri seed butter, it has her elderberry extract, vanilla, alcohol, water, so it feels really good. I've really liked the texture. It's kind of has like a very nice density, almost like, and you can see kind of it has this sort of like, it's super thick. And that's partially, I think, from the Mafura and the Hymenia, that it has this like much more substantial, much more substantial butter-like quality for the lips so that it holds in place and it's not too like greasy. So just gorgeous. Um, okay, some of the standouts that I've loved is the Black Locust Firming Concentrate. I'm going to do an anti-aging video next week when I talk about sort of the products that I truly think have given me results in a well-aging, anti-aging effect. And that's definitely the black, the black locust firming concentrate will definitely be in that video and I'll talk more about it. I'll talk more about Barcuchiol, um, but I feel like this product is truly transformative. Okay, then I have the Ambrosia Doserato liquid moisturizer. I've talked about this product a lot, but I feel like as far as a vitamin, if you're looking for a vitamin C serum, there's a lot of them out there that claim to do a lot of things, that have all kinds of combinations of vitamin C that don't really work. I feel like this product has given me some of the best results in decreasing hyperpigmentation that I've seen from any product that I've tried. Green beauty, clean beauty, or conventional beauty. I don't know what it is. My skin really responds to it. I was having hyperpigmentation from using a retinol product and I feel like I truly saw results with this. And in fact, I should do like a 30, I should do like a 90 day test with this. Like I do before and after pictures, maybe like the two of these. Should I do that? I should do that. Wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah, okay. So just hands down a winner, plays well with other products, super lightweight, just gorgeous smelling, um, just a home run. Okay, and last but not least, the Marshmallow Face Cleanser. I've talked about this a jillion times. It's a biphasic, um, lightly foaming Castile cleanser with a gorgeously delicious, gooey chamomile sort of um, creaminess. Uh, it's fantastic. I use it every day. I've gone through two bottles. I'm on my third. And now I have a backup. Thank you to Earthwise Beauty. So anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I look forward to hoping someday that I've tried everything in their line. I like to move slowly because the products are so vibrant. I like to use them up, you know, um, quickly so that I can capture all and harness all the plant powers. But yeah, any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.